Part of my job is to show people the, the policy. My name is Leonard. Leonard. I'm, you know my name. I'm all American. You know where our filming policy is? Oh yes, I'm aware of the policy. It's your First Amendment right to take pictures, man. Don't let them tell you to stop. I'm going to record too, since you're recording. Anybody can get up close or take your camera and erase your footage and... Yeah. That's not a good deal. That bothered me though, honestly. Those sure. Were some of the comments against the staff at the library, like, like almost threatening comments. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the Ocean County Public Library here in Toms River, New Jersey. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, everyone, before we walk inside the Ocean County Public Library here, I just wanted to clarify that this is the main branch of the Ocean County Public Library system. The last library we were at in Lakewood, New Jersey, is part of this system. This is the main branch here. Obviously, it didn't go too well over there. That if you don't stop filming, then we are going to have to call the police. I'm just letting you know your audio video recorded, okay? Okay. Just don't go inside the library, public library, sir. Right, Might be violating on? policy. I'm allowed to go in the library. You're not allowed to go to the library. You're law enforcement. You're not just, policy enforcement. No, listen, me, I feel like you're escalating no, it. You, you, you're using... You're using... You better I, not. I you better not. Now that is a threat of arrest from a law enforcement officer, and I could take that threat of arrest and bring it into a federal court system. What happens next is up to you. If you're gonna lie to law enforcement, no, but if you're gonna lie to law enforcement, that becomes a problem. Now let's see how they do over here. Hopefully we have a better experience and hopefully they've learned to respect our constitutional rights and we won't have any issues. Inside of the public library here, so let's take a look around. We are immediately greeted with our friendly reminders that they're always recording us even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. Hey, how are you? How you doing today, sir? Hey, how are you guys doing? Um, I'm just gonna show you the, the film policy up there, and that's all we're doing. Right over here on the bulletin board. Um, who are you, sir? Oh, I'm security, I'm Charles. Charles? Charles? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Charles. Yeah. And your name, sir? You don't mind? Um, my name is Leonard. Leonard. I'm a problem, you know my name. I'm a sure, no problem, my name is Sean, sir. I'm all American. My name is Sean, sir. <laughs> What policy is that? Uh, right over here. The filming policy. Sure, I'll take a look at it. Why not? Right here above the uh, fire alarm. Right above the fire, fire alarm? Right oh, that's a long policy. Wow. Yeah. That's This is only specifically for filming? This policy right here? Or is uh, it? This is uh, specifically, I believe, is just for fil uh, filming. A27 yep. filming in go. Ocean County Library policy. Yep. Right. I'm familiar with the policy. I don't know if you've... Seen, I, I've, I've visited other Ocean County libraries before, so okay. I'm, f I'm familiar with the policy. All right, uh, that's just part of my job is to show people the, the policy. I understand, sir. Yeah. I understand that, sir. Okay. I get that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's continue to take a look around. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know why? Hi, how are you? Do you know where I'd find um, a copy of the Constitution? Oh yes, I'm aware of the policy, but that, I just wanted to know where the uh, the uh, Const United States Constitution is. You just could tell me, and I'll find it. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Can you point me in the direct in the general area? <laughs> this way? Massive library here. Okay, your three forties are gonna be straight down this aisle. Three forty two. Three forty two seventy three. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry about I'm lost. I have no idea. Thank you. My mistake, it's in the rock section. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. I appreciate it. Thank you. So we have the United States Constitution here. Absolutely massive. Let's see if we could find 
even holding this one hand is insane. In case anybody have any questions about what we're doing here and our constitutional rights, we have the United States Constitution ready to go. Let's hope we don't have any issues though. See, this is why I love coming to public buildings. You get to see beautiful architecture, beautiful artwork. It's your First Amendment right to take pictures, man. Don't let them tell you to stop. <laughs> Not of other people inside the library. It's, without their consent. There's no expectation of privacy in public. You're, you're taking my picture right now. You see how many cameras? There's a lot of cameras. Have you ever counted? Taking your picture right Not you personally, yeah. sir, but the, the library has my picture everywhere. And everybody's picture as soon as we walk in, right? Just reasonably. There's a, I, I've never seen so many cameras in a library before. Uh, I cannot help with that, that information. I am just yeah. a security guard. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Out. Hey, guys. Huh? Are you streaming? Yeah, I'm streaming right now, yeah. Um, on, on TikTok right now, and then also I have a YouTube channel. What's your channel? What's the TikTok? L Long Island Audit. Go hop in. We got uh, 1,100 people watching live, and then uh, we got. <laughs> and then Long Island Audit. Check, check, check me out on YouTube and TikTok. And remember, it's your First Amendment right to hold your government officials accountable. <laughs> Long Island Audit. It should have a verified check mark. Long Island Audit. No problem. So we're here trying to teach our, our youth about their rights. You saw the security guard that's over here. Trying to tell them not to take pictures in public, even though, look at all these cameras everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. It's important that we teach our youth about our First Amendment rights about all of our rights, really. How to interact with law enforcement. So it looks like law enforcement has arrived here. You can see them over there. Hello, deputies, how are you? We're sheriff's officers. Sheriff's officers? Yes. Sheriff's officers. Never heard that before. Uh, you mind if I just get your names and badge numbers, please? Sure. I'm gonna record too, since you're recording. Oh, sure, yeah, no problem. All right, uh, Sergeant Shannon Dugan. March. Oh, one two eight. Thank you, Officer uh, Dugan. Shilling, thank you, Officer Shilling. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's fine. I have no, I have no uh, reasonable expectation of privacy in public, okay. so you can record me all you want. Yeah, that's okay. fine. So, are you here for me? Is that we're why? Just here. We actually do rove. Because we're hi. How are you? All right. You we we work right across the street, so we rove. Oh, right at the courthouse across the street. Yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So I got gotcha. you. So you're sheriff's officers? I thought that was interesting. Sheriff's officers? Well, I'm a sergeant. Yeah, we're not deputies in New Jersey. Not deputies. That's we're interesting. Not okay, you're not deputized. So you're just, you're, but you're sheriffs. Yes. We are sheriffs. But officers. Yes. Okay. Sergeant. We fall under the sheriff. <laughs> gotcha. So, oh, okay, you fall under the sheriff. Just different. The system of, hey, the position of sheriff is the same no matter where you are. Oh, okay, gotcha. No, he's fine. He's... Gotcha. It's just interesting the way different law enforcement agencies are structured. That's all. Yeah, it is. But you guys are you guys are law enforcement though. Yep. We went okay. To the academy. We're sworn. We went. Yeah. Okay. Took oaths to uphold the United States Constitution. Absolutely. Of course. Okay. <laughs> just checking. You're a Yankee fan. I am a Yankee fan. I am a Yankee fan. Can I ask you a question? Sure. The dual cameras. Yeah, two cameras. Just just for my safety. One of them is live streaming, and the other one um, is static recording. Yeah, static recording. Gotcha. Right. Where's it live streaming to? Um, this one's live streaming to TikTok, so I just started t uh, tinkering with that and making sure just to just for my safety. A lot of times, sometimes, you know, anybody can get up close or take your camera and erase your footage, and yeah. that's not a good deal. <laughs> uh, what is your name on TikTok so I can follow you? Sure, um, I'll give it to you at the end. Oh, I'll give it to you okay. at the end. I promise. All right. I promise you. Well, I'm gonna go outside. Yeah, sure. It's a beautiful so, day. So when you're done, if you want to give that to me. Okay, I will. All right. All right, All right thank, thank you. you. Thanks, guys. Let's get this um, sheriff's name and badge number over here.
Excuse me, Sheriff. Excuse me, Sheriff. Excuse me, Sheriff. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm not a sheriff. Oh, you, Tom's River Police. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, do you mind if I get your names and bad name and badge number, sir? Sergeant Ruiz, badge number three three one. Of the Tom's River Police Department. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So he's of the Tom's River Police Department, and then we also have the Ocean County Sheriff's officers over here. All, all of which, you know, they seem to be pleasant enough. Definitely more pleasant than Officer Emmons from the Lakewood Police Department. I'm just messing with I'm sure Officer Emmons is not even a bad guy, but I just got to mess with him a little bit because he wanted to escalate. But I want to remind everybody, one day, people have bad days. And I'm not making excuses, but everybody's human, including law enforcement, including First Amendment auditors including each and every one of you watching right now. We're all human. We all have bad days and could have had a bad day. Officer Emmons, Lakewood uh, Police Department. But I will say that the Lakewood Police Department, under the leadership of Sergeant Vega in that specific incident, Sergeant Vega, I think, did a great job. He was just reading some case law that he was given, but I think he did a great job. He de-escalated the situation. He heard my complaint regarding Officer Emmons, and he did not trespass me from the building. So that's all you can ask for, right? Hello, sir. Hey, I'm so how are you, man? Sorry to interrupt. I just noticed that you just came here. Do you mind if I get your name and badge number, sir? Sure. My name is Officer William Hutton. My badge number is 342. Thank you, Officer Hutton. I Absolutely. appreciate it. Thank you so much. You don't want to give me your name? Well, my name is Sean, sir. Sean, nice to meet you, Sean. Ooh, let me uh, switch hands here. There you go. Nice to meet you. How are you, man? Good. See, that's the difference between an officer that escalates and an officer that de-escalates. He gets my name, right? He gets my first name is Sean. If you would ask me what I was doing here, I would have told him I'm an independent journalist working on a story. Again, we're going to wait until law enforcement leaves. But it looks like they're maybe trying to... I heard an officer earlier saying they're trying to trespass me from the building, permanently ban me from all Ocean County libraries. So let's hope they don't do that, because then we'll be seeing them in federal court. Thank you. Have a good day. Good, you two officers. No issues? No, no. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you for honoring your oath to the United States Constitution. Hey, absolutely. Thank you, sir. You stay safe out there, okay? I'm going to try. <laughs> Have a great day. You too, sir. See, ladies and gentlemen, right here, that's not the walk of shame. That's the walk of honor. Walk of Honor, they honored their oath to the United States Constitution. They didn't try and bully me, they didn't escalate the situation. They were called here, I understand. They get a call, they have to come here. But they left. And remember, just remember, when each and every one, when, when some of you say that I'm not affecting change, and we, together, we the people together aren't affecting change, just remember that the last library I was in, I'll link it in the description below, the last library was in Lakewood was completely different scenario than this. Completely different. So we're going to talk to the sheriffs on our way out. We've proven the point regarding our rights. I have to ask him a question, so I'm told I was waiting until Oh, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Take care, guys. Take care again, officers. Stay safe out there. Yeah, so I'll answer your question. Uh, my company's name is Long Island Audit. Long Island Audit, Inc. So, so on all on TikTok, too. on TikTok, Long Island Audit on TikTok, Facebook, yeah, we have YouTube. We saw the one from uh, uh, Lakewood, Lakewood. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I've know. actually I've actually had conversations with people in that community since that video is posted, and they've all been productive conversations. And you know, I'm I'm confident that the Lakewood Police Department is you know handling it internally, and they're, you know. It, it's been the going only well. The thing that bothered me, though, honestly, was sure. like some of the comments against the staff at the library, like, like almost threatening comments towards her. Really? You know? Yeah. So normally, if you, if you look at those comments, I'm not recording you anymore because there's really no reason I for am. me to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but um, they come across threatening, and the girl, you know, that's if you look through them, if you right. Really I mean, but to be them, fair, to be fair, there are, you know, well, a lot of tens of. Yeah, sure. Difficult. To be fair, there are tens of thousands of comments, so I can't see them all. And 
there are always going to be some people out there as 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 much as i always advocate for peacefully petitioning your grievances to your government because i have no problem with people criticize me all the time and it's and i'm a private you know citizen but yeah. well i'm a public figure i guess at this point but right. Our government officials, you know, we have a First Amendment right to petition our grievances peacefully to them. And there's always going to be people who take it to the next level. And I condemn that. And, I, and, and in every one of my videos, just like I'm saying right now, I condemn that wholeheartedly, full stop. You know, there should be no never violence or threat of violence to anybody, you know, no matter what they're doing. You know, we, we need to there's there's channels, there's proper channels to handle there's these kinds right of things. There's the a right. There's a right way to get the point across. and There's a wrong way. I hope that YouTube, any threatening comments, automatically take them down, automatically will take them down. Uh, but yeah, I've run into that problem before where, you know, somebody has posted the home address of somebody in one of my videos on the comment section, allegedly, right. and a district attorney used that as a way to get an order of protection against me. So do you see it cuts both ways that it's like the government is using what other people, are, that's not fair either. You can't use what other people are saying right. against me and saying, right. hey, I didn't do it. And just because, you know, this has happened in Nassau County, New York, just because someone posted um, a public address, again, I don't advocate for that. I don't post people's uh, addresses online or anything like that. But just because somebody on the Internet randomly could have even been the person, right? It could have even been them themselves. But just because they asked for an order, a stay away order of protection and now I have to stay away from the police department. So I couldn't even file a police report if I wanted to. I couldn't go there and do anything. And I have to st and a judge granted that. But think about the slippery slope that that sets. It's like the government doesn't like what I'm doing and they get an order of protection against me to stop from asking questions. Right. Like that's pretty scary, I think, you know, to have for, for like if you got an order of protection on me just because we had a conversation like this because right. you didn't like the questions I was asking you. That's that's also not right. right. So I again, I want to condemn on video anybody who's advocating for violence against anybody. But, you. you know, that that's not the way, whether they're law enforcement or public officials. You know, but criticism is okay, but violence and threats is never okay. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys coming down here today and honoring your oath, identifying yourself. You have no how many idea you, you don't know how many times I deal with law enforcement is like my name's right here, and they just get so mad. And it's like, why can't we have a my name's right here? And I'm always like, is it R I T E um, W R I G H T? Is that your name? I'm like, there's a lot of right here's in this country that that are in law enforcement, but it's just professionalism, de-escalation. I've worked with law enforcement departments in the past. Um, across the country in Ohio, New Jersey, you know, for t teaching de-escalation, teaching First Amendment rights, you know, doing what I can to help bridge the gap between law enforcement and the public. So that's that's my main goal here. I'm not anti-law enforcement. I'm anti-bad law enforcement. And I think any good law enforcement officer should be with that, should be, you know, a part of, should be okay with that, right? I agree with you. How do you uh, interpret that on the window? The, the, the sign saying that uh, there's yeah. prohibited recording? Well, the way I the way I look at that sign is that as you can see, somebody wrote that on Microsoft Word and put it on the, you know, there's no statute associated with that sign. It's their internal policy. Yeah. Right, it's their internal policy. And, and their, but their internal policy, and you might say, well, you have to follow that internal policy, right? But their internal policy can't override our rights in the United States Constitution. Just like if there was a sign that right there that said, hey, no, no one of a certain color, no, no uh, Caucasian Americans allowed, would you still say, hey, what about that sign? No, you wouldn't, because you'd be like, you know, that's wrong. Right. You, you know, what's wrong? No African-Americans allowed. No Hispanic-Americans allowed. You wouldn't be like, well, there's a sign. Right. <laughs> you would, you know, you wouldn't be like, well, they have a sign posted. And then they want to talk about privacy rights in public. And you, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe how many cameras are in that in, in the library here. There's a lot of cameras everywhere we go. There are cameras. You guys are wearing cameras right now. Like, you know, no one has a private no one. But also no one deserves to be bullied or harassed. And, and that's why I go live. Right. I'm, I'm live. So that way there's no editing of anything now. There's people can see that I'm not putting my hammer in anybody's face. I'm not harassing anybody. I'm not, you know, trying to get anything. So that's the reason why. But I really appreciate you guys for honoring your oath to the Constitution today. Thank you. You guys stay safe, okay? Are you leaving? I'm going to let them know that we're heading out. Sure, yeah, you can let them know. That's no problem. Thank you. No problem. All right, guys, so we're going to be getting out of here. We had a great conversation with the sheriffs over here. Great conversation. I love good conversation with law enforcement officers to be able to de-escalate the situation, treat us with respect, and recognize our constitutional rights. See, I'm not here all day. I, I don't want to be here all day. I'm here to prove the point and to make sure that our constitutional rights are respected here in Ocean County, New Jersey. And they were. You know, law enforcement was called, but law enforcement, both the Tom's River Police Department as well as the 
Ocean County Sheriff's Department honored their oath to the United States Constitution. And I appreciate them for that. They're doing the right thing. That's not the walk of shame. That's a walk of honor. I'm not anti-law enforcement. I'm anti-bad law enforcement. There's a difference. There's a difference. We should all, even bootlickers, you should get behind the fact that we need to hold our government officials accountable. We need to be able to petition our grievances peacefully to our government. Accountability. If I break the law, if you break the law, we're held accountable. You know, law enforcement officers always call First Amendment auditors or activists, they call them sovereign citizens, right? What is a sovereign citizen? A sovereign citizen is somebody who believes that the law doesn't apply to them. That is law enforcement. In my three years of activism and journalism, I've seen that a lot of the time law enforcement believe the law doesn't apply to them because it doesn't. They get away with it every single time. The only thing I believe is that this policy right here on this door does not violate or supersede the United States Constitution. I think that's a pretty reasonable take. How can a sign that somebody typed up on a Microsoft Word sheet, no statute, nothing behind it, no case law, nothing, how can that supersede the United States Constitution and our freedom of press right? It can't. That's the whole point. It can't. And that's why we do what we do. Again, if you want to look at the original video in Lakewood, New Jersey, you can do that. I'll leave it linked in the description below. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next one. Long Island Audit. Peace.